first of all, I would like to thank this um, Michigan State Selective Committee for choosing me and inducting me in the um, Michigan State Hall of Fame. I would like to thank, first of all, my family, um, my kids that wasn't able to make it, but one of them was here with my grand, with my newborn grandson, Dominic. And I would like to thank my friends that's here, my fans, no one fan. But, um, it's one person that would have been here today that would have been ecstatic about this. I mean, my mom, that's my number one fan. And I lost that in 2000, so I just, you know, I owe everything, you know, pretty much to her, you know, going back to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, my mom worked two jobs when I was in high school. She wasn't able to um, come see some of the football games. So I just like to um, just thank her, you know. And I got one other thing. Percy didn't only just hit the scout team. <laughs> I, tell, I got to tell you that. <laughs> I, you know, when Percy first got here, I used to always tease him, you know. So I just I always used to tell him, you know, you know, you're doing really, really good, but it's a reason why coach don't want me to, you know, to go against you, you know. So I don't want to, you know, I don't want you to lose that swag that you got, you know. <laughs> so, you know, Percy. <laughs> Come on, man. I'll go with you right now. So, I say, Percy, you don't want that, right? So, you know, almost like the, um, the coach's pet. <laughs> so I'm teasing him as we go about, you know, um, I, every time I go past him, I told him, you know, man, you know, what you, you're looking like you're going to be all American. You know, I, I, I've been there. I did that a few times, you know. <laughs> so you don't want to, uh, you know, you don't want to cross that line. <laughs> so he getting mad. The next play, I get the ball. I run through there, you know, I'm prancing and, you know, I ain't going to get hit, you know. Percy come level me, bop! <laughs> Coach Perlis go crazy. <laughs> Percy, what's wrong with you? You know, he ain't say it like that, you know, he had other <laughs> <laughs> <And> Coach, <laughs> you know, uh, when, when Coach Perlis say something, you know, you, like Percy said, you know, that's just how he talk. You know? <laughs> so, I like to, um, just talk about <coughs> coming to Michigan State and what it means to me. Um, my career, like Percy said, I played professional for eight years. My best years of my career has been the four years at Michigan State. Um, I came here, um, the fans, the coaches, I mean, I just say the whole Michigan, I mean, the state of, the state of Michigan with open arms. It, it wasn't easy, though. You know, I, I come here as a, a freshman, and Coach Perlis pulled me to the side. He told me, say, hey, I can throw you in here, and you can start, but I'm not going to do that to you because I don't want you to fail. I want to give you every opportunity that you can to succeed. So I'm going to get your feet wet slowly. So I appreciate him for doing that. Um, I remember going out the first couple of games he put me in, um, having success. And you, you're talking about a kid coming from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Not as far as you, not from California, but shy. So I go in, he put me in, I think I rushed for like 100 yards, and Nick Vista come up to me and say, hey, 
um, you got to talk to the media. This is right after the game. So I looked in the room, I seen all those cameras in there. I said, not today. <laughs> <laughs> not today. <laughs> the day isn't a good time for that. <laughs> so I got out of, you know, I got out of talking to the, um, the new uh, radio, TV that day. So Sunday, Sunday, Sunday come. So he comes up to me again at the practice. And I'm talking about terrified of cameras. Oh man, I don't want to get in front of that mic. I don't want to get nothing in my face. So he tells me again. So I disappear again. As soon as we um, get out of practice, I run in there. I'm the first one to get in there, take a shower, and I'm gone. <laughs> so that's Sunday. So that's two days that I got away. Monday come. So Nick say, Lorenzo, I told you um, that you got a report. So I said, okay, I'll be, I'll be in there. Tell me what room, where, where is it? So I go in there again. So I see the, see the camera, he showed me the room. I say, as soon as I take a shower. So this time, I got to be clever on this one. <laughs> I get in there, I go out the bike door, I jump over the gate. <laughs> I jump over the gate and go around the football building and go eat. So Tuesday come, I'm really in trouble now. Because now Coach Prolis done got into it. <laughs> so he called me in the office. He was like, what's going on? He said, they done call you for media, uh, me, uh, for you to see the media and this and that. And, you know, they want to talk about the game. He said, it's like, you know, you done duck, you've been ducking. You know, I said, no, Coach, I... I I mean, I went by there, but the door was closed. <laughs> so, so to, make a, um, to make a long story short, um, talk about where I come from, you know, that part of it. You know, they, you know, Coach Perlis put me, you know, he told me, you know, he's going to get me help for that, you know, get me into like, some of the media classes, and, you know, and that's what we did. We went on, and the shy little boy from Fort Lauderdale, you know, it took me a while, you know, to kind of get used to this, you know, as you can see. I'm still not used to it, you know. <laughs> so, um, and I'm going to just talk about, like I said, the people. I mean, when I say home, I have to sometimes catch myself. Because when I say home, you know, I. I call this home, you know, and it's like my second home. And there's nowhere that I can go here that I don't get received with open arms. And that's what it's all about. You know, person said the family, the family, and that's definitely what it is here. I go back home and I'm talking about <laughs> when I left here and I go home and I say, oh, man, I think everybody's nice in Michigan. I tell everybody about that back in Florida, you know. It's like, I mean, I can do no wrong. I go in there, you know, we, we're not going to talk about some of the things that we won't call no names. You know, his last name is Snow, and we ain't talking about Eric. We're not, we, we not talking about Eric, you know. I mean, how I got to, how I got to walk behind him. Yeah, Mom, uh, I'm calling him out now. <laughs> you know, but, but that's the family environment that Percy was talking about. And that's something that um, Coach Perlis instilled in us. And that's something that I'm always have. And that's one of the one of the big things that I got out of being in um, being here at Michigan State. Um, when I say it wasn't hard, I mean it wasn't easy. I think by in choosing Michigan State. Um, people always ask that question, why did you choose Michigan State? I told them, I said, I had some personal goals that I told every coach that recruited me and when I um, narrowed my five visits. The visits was Michigan, Michigan State, Georgia, Pittsburgh, and Tennessee. I told them that it's one goal that I really, really, really wanted. And it was the Heisman Trophy. And 
I remember sitting in Bo Schambecker's office when I went to visit Michigan, and I asked him, I said, Coach, if I say that I want to win the Heisman Trophy, does that mean that I'm selfish? And he said, I mean, he said no. And I'm talking about that's the other school. That's the other school, Coach. <laughs> so so I, he told me, he said no. But he told me this, he said, I don't think if you go to Michigan State, you'll win the Heisman Trophy. He said, if you come here, you can definitely get it. I know you can get it. I'm going to help you get it, you know? <laughs> so, but I, but I had one bullet in the chamber still. I hadn't visited Michigan State yet. All I did was um, talk to the coach and talk to some of the guys that were from Florida. And, you know, they was like, how on my list? I told them that, hey, I'm going to um, East Lansing in two weeks. You know, so he said, I want to know when, when you're going there. I said, okay, two weeks, I'll be there. So those two weeks came by. I came up to visit East Lansing. When I got up here, it's just like what I just described. When I got up here, everybody was, you know, everybody knew about me. I'm talking about everywhere, that I, everywhere I went. So got up here, had a great visit. Went back home. My mom was trying to go to sleep. I said, Mom, I went here and I went there. I met this person. I met that person. So she got up out of the bed. So the next two, uh, next two weeks passed. So I said, Mom, I think I'm going to go to uh, Michigan State. So came down to signing date, like it was the next week. I get down to, um, I get down uh, Michigan. <coughs> Bo Schambach was calling every day. So now, Bo coming down to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So now, Bo Schambach is coming down to Dillard High School to see my high school coaches. Now, you would have thought you was talking about, I mean, which he is a legend, but, you know, when I said Bo was coming, I mean, I ain't never seen my coach, you know, straighten up and, um, <laughs> The old man coming here? I said, yeah, he's coming down. I said, he's coming down to uh, visit, so I want y'all to come over to the house. They, so they came over to the house. My high school coach is never one who's lost for words. When I told you, when Bo, came, Bo Chamber came there, and he was looking at him, I mean, in his eye, like, he could have just told me to just sign on the dotted line right there. My coach would have just, you know, forced me to do it, you know? But, um, like I said, I, I, after I came up here, I made that decision to come here. And what I'm gonna say, it's not easy. You know, the whole time I was here at Michigan State, all four years, I had to see the uh, NCAA every year. Um, Mr. Underwood, Coach Perlis, and myself. So, and uh, I think it was 85, uh, 86, they came down. I, I took some money, I did something. I, I, I got to have something. My mama got a new house, I got a new car. So they come in and ask all these questions. So I'm like, wait a minute. So I'm asking all my friends, I'm like going to other schools. I'm like, I mean, y'all talk to the NCAA? I said, no. I said, well, what's wrong with me? Every year, I got to talk to them. <laughs> well, my mama got a new house, so I, I'm sitting in there in uh, Coach, Coach Perler's office, and I tell the guy, I say, hey, man, our house is ragged. You don't even need a key to open the door. <laughs> if you hit it too hard, it's going to open. <laughs> right? So he said, well, okay, well, tell me about this new car. I said, oh, it's a new car to me. <laughs> okay, it's a 1978. <laughs> and you're talking about 86. 1978, I said, it's a, it's a new car to me. I mean, I got a nice paint job on it, and I worked to get that. <laughs> I worked to get that paint job on it. So, um, so after that, Coach Perlis, oh my God, he thought that was like the funniest thing, that, you know, he about the, about the key. So, um, just to, I mean, just the things that I had to, just to go through here, you know, and like I said, and all the people that had my back. When I say that, I'm saying, 
I can never, never, ever will pray what you guys and what you fans mean to me, okay? When walking in that stand, walking in there um, in 1987, that night that we played in the air, not even that night, let's say, let's talk about that week. The Rose Bowl was one thing, but that night in Indiana was way surpassed that Rose Bowl. I mean, we had to win that to get there. But that buzz that we had going from that whole full week, it seemed like, you know, everywhere you went, everybody, I don't know, did they go to work that week or uh, what? I mean, everybody, it was like a celebration of, you know, everybody's um, hype. And when they asked me the biggest thing in my sports career, that night, that week, that is the most enjoyable thing that I ever have in, in, in my life, in my sporting career. So I would like to say thank you all uh, for receiving me and having me. And go green, go white. Amen. Thank you.